So our topic is language understanding resource in Azure. Now language understanding required two kind of Azure resources. Number one is authoring resource and number two is prediction resource. Now authoring resource is used to train a language model and prediction resource host a trained model and process request from client applications. To use the language understanding service to develop a natural language solution, you will need to create a language resource in Azure. That resource will be used for both authoring your model and processing prediction requests from client applications. The language service has various features including sentiment analysis, key phrase extraction, entity recognition, intent recognition, and text classification. Some of these features can be used without configuration of your language resources such as language detection or sentiment analysis. Other features such as conversational language understanding and custom named entity recognition will require a model to be built for prediction. For language features uh, that require a model for prediction, you will need to build, train and deploy that model before using it to make a prediction. Now this building and training will teach the language service what to look for. So firstly, you will need to create your language resource in Azure portal and for that, firstly you have to click on a new resource, then find a select language service and then you have to click on create. After that, you have to fill out all the necessary details, choosing the region closest to you geographically and uh, giving it a unique name. Moving forward, let's talk about intents and utterances. So utterances are the phrases that the user might enter when interacting with an application that uses your language understanding model. An intent represents a task or action that the user want to perform or more simply the meaning of an utterance. You create a model by defining intents and associating them with one or more utterances. For example, if the user say, what time is it? or tell me the time. So this is the utterance and the intent of, the, of these utterances are get time. Then if the user asks what is the weather forecast or do I need an umbrella. So the intent of these utterances is to get weather. Similarly, the intent to turn the light on or switch on the fan uh, is turn on the device and the intent of hello is none. In a language understanding model, you must define the intents that you want your model to understand. So uh, spend some time considering the domain your model must support and the kinds of actions or information that user might request. In addition to the intents that you define, every model includes a none intent that you should use to explicitly identify the utterances that a user might submit for which there is no specific action required. For example, a hello or a goodbye. Or that fall outside the scope of the domain of this model. Uh, after you have identified the intents your model must support, uh, it's important to capture various different example of the utterances for each intent. Collect utterances that you think user will enter, including utterances that mean the same thing but that are constructed in different ways. Keeping these guidelines in mind, firstly, you have to capture multiple different examples or alternative ways of saying the same thing. Then you have to vary the length of the utterances from short to medium to long. You have to vary the location of the noun or the subject of the utterances, place it uh, in the beginning, the end or somewhere in between. So this is how you can create different utterances. Also you can use correct grammar and incorrect grammar in different utterances to offer a good training da uh, data examples. The precision, consistency and completeness of your labeled data are the key factors of determining the model performance. 
uh, you have to label precisely you have to label each entity to its right type always only include what you want to be extracted and avoid any unnecessary data in your labels then you have to label consistently the same entity should have the same label across all the utterances and then you have to remember to label completely that means you have to label all the intents instances of the entity in your utterances that's all about intents and utterances